it's late at night and I just configured another setup for a potential client's multi-camera requirement. Requirement is the switch between two video cameras and output to external monitors. At the same time, the recording will be done on the Mac. It's a full day seminar, so we are expecting to record about eight hours of footage. Now let's talk about the details. First, we have camera one. The output is via HDMI to the Blackmagic Intensity Shuttle. The Intensity Shuttle then converts the HDMI video to USB. It goes into the Max USB 3 port. We have camera two. Again, output via HDMI to the Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. From here, the HDMI video signal is converted into Thunderbolt that goes into the Thunderbolt port of the MacBook Pro. Turn on Blackmagic Desktop Video Setup to ensure the two signals are detected. Under Intensity Shuttle, I selected 1080i50 under Video Output Format. Under Ultra Mini Recorder, there isn't much to select except HDMI. I discovered that I can turn this video setup off and the operation continues. Most of the operation is done via OBS. I have set up two scenes. Each scene contains only one video capture device source. For scene 1, I choose Blackmagic Intensity Shuttle, select Use Preset, Preset Set to High. And for scene 2, I select Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder, select Use Preset, Preset Set to High. On the actual operation, the audio will be coming from one of the cameras. I have a multi-screen view created here. The multi-screen view can be activated from File, View, Multi-View, Window. With this multi-screen view, I can select Camera 1 or Camera 2 visually. And to project the output onto the big screen, I activated Full Screen Projector Preview. And set your monitor selection as Use a separate display. Then connect the HDMI output from the MacBook Pro to the external monitor. Now let's look into the settings. Under general, I didn't change much. This is like a default. Then under stream, we will not change anything because we are not doing live streaming. Under output, okay. I changed the recording to type standard recording on my Samsung T3, which is this one. And check generate file name without space, recording format FLV. Encoder Apple VT H264 hardware encoder, rescale output 1920 times 1080. And then bitrate. 12,000 seems to produce really good quality from the last experience. Uncheck limit bitrate and the rest default. For audio, there's only two devices selected, the Blackmagic Intensity Shuttle and the Blackmagic Audio. These are the settings for my video. Hotkeys. I'll set keypad 1 to switch to scene 1 and number 2 to switch to scene 2. Finally, here are the advanced settings. Now I can use my keyboard as the switcher. 1, 2, 1, 2. 1, 2, 1, 2. With that setting, a 1 hour video will take up about 6 gigabytes. I just noticed a lag in the system. Look at the picture. 
when I wave, it takes 1,000, 2,000, two seconds to change. Let me turn off some of the background apps. Notifications has been set to do not disturb. I will remove all the antivirus services using CCleaner. I will also remove Android file transfer agent from starting up and also Google software update agent. Okay, it looks much better now. Be careful when buying one of these adapters. This particular one didn't work. The mini HDMI to full HDMI. By the way, one of the camera will not be mine. We'll be using a client's clinical camera. So tomorrow I'll be at the client's place to test this setup and ensure that their camera can connect with this system. <laughs>